Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with human flesh. That's right, it's not just for zombies anymore. Due to rampant overpopulation, this delicious delicacy is an easily sustainable food source and just absolutely sublime. And while finding it can get a little tricky due to antiquated laws about fresh corpse acquisition, I really do think it's worth the effort because this recipe is so easy, even a brain dead zombie could do it. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with our dry ingredients for which we will need two tablespoons of butter, two smashed cloves of garlic, a few sprigs of fresh thyme, and a premium cut of lower back loin meat about one and a half inches thick. And I know what you're thinking, shouldn't we harvest the thigh meat instead? And the answer is absolutely not. Okay, thigh meat from a human is gonna be way too tough without slow cooking it forever, so we really do wanna use the mid to lower back loin meat for this. So let's generously season our cut of human flesh on both sides with kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, and a tiny shake of cayenne. And don't forget to coat it around the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Okay, we want every bit of this piece of meat to be properly covered in seasoning as to accentuate that naturally sweet flavor of man flesh. And for this steak, we're gonna do what I like to call the reverse reverse sear method, or what some people just call the sear method. So for that, let's get out our heaviest pan and preheat it on high heat, and then coat it in one to two tablespoons of a neutral flavored oil, like canola or safflower. And once that oil is shimmering, go ahead and lay your human down in the oil, cooking for three to four minutes per side, or until it looks like this. Then we're gonna add our butter to the pan, and once it's good and melted, we'll throw in the smashed garlic cloves and the thyme sprigs as well. Then after a quick stir, we'll give it the old basta basta until the butter is no longer bubbling and is just beginning to brown, maybe about one minute or so at which point it is ready to transfer into the center of a 450 degree oven for about five to seven minutes or until it reaches your desired level of doneness. Now we just need to let it rest for about five minutes or so and that's it, your human is done. So all that's left to do is dig in. And my friends, let me tell you, this is the absolute best way to feast on your fellow man. Okay, basting the flesh in that butter with garlic and thyme brings out the absolute best in this highly illegal cut of meat and frankly has given me an alarming taste for human flesh that I don't think will ever go away. Now, I do personally like my human to be on the rarer side, as I think it invokes that authentic feeling of tearing flesh from bone like our undead brethren enjoy doing. But as you can see, I totally overcooked the shit out of this. But that's okay. That's just you cooking. And I do blame that on this being the first time I cooked human, as I do think it might cook a little bit faster than other mammals. So you could take it a little less far if that's your preference, or a little further. I mean, you guys are, after all, the Randy Newman of eating human. And I do find that this meal pairs wonderfully with a nice Chianti. But anyway, that's it, what I'm calling human flesh. It's just so delicious and easy to make, which is why I really do hope you give it a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.